Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode here of Let's Talk Air Guns. It is a wonderful, gorgeous, beautiful, chilly Tuesday night here in West Texas, and we are very pleased to have, guess who? We got Air Gun Angie with us. Let me go ahead and switch screens here. Angie, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing well. How are you, Rick? I'm doing very well. You don't seem nearly as enthusiastic as I am. Um, it's been a long couple of days. But it's, it's just say, just say, Rick, it's two hours later here. You, you can play the, the time zone card anytime, right? So like you're East Coast, I'm Central, it's two hours difference. You can, you can use that. Yeah, thanks for using it for me. You're welcome. Just trying to help you out. All right, guys. So a couple things, uh, like I said a couple weeks ago. Um, hey, Bl hey, Andy, glad to have you up here. Um, we... Uh, first time Angie was up, the audio was awful. And you guys said it's awful. And we knew it was awful. And we were trying to figure out how to make it not awful. So I know that what we have going on now is I bought some gear and I'm actually testing what I'm hoping to send to Angie. So you guys let me know if my audio is okay. That'll be good. And then uh, when Angie gets it, she'll be like legitly awesome on good audio. So that's, uh, that's what we're hoping this is going to work out well. And uh, hopefully... Excuse me, hopefully you guys can hear Angie okay tonight. We've kind of got a jam-packed uh, night tonight. Hopefully we won't go late like we've been doing, but that's me and my big mouth. Um, it has not been Angie's fault. But we are going to talk about, um, finally, guess what? Guess what, guys? Finally, we have our GTA contest up and going. And not only do we have it going, but I think, God willing, we're going to be able to do it like I want to do it, which is have a contest we may start every other month until we can roll into every month, but we've got the software in place, we've got the system in place, and I'm pretty excited. Um, so uh, really quickly, Angie, um, you shot the gun we're giving away like way back first of the year. It's the Gamo Magnum GR. So I'm going to switch over to that page real quick, um, the contest page. Why don't you, if you, if you remember shooting the gun, it's been long enough now. Uh, if you remember, why don't you tell us about um, that particular gun, if you remember it. <clears throat> um, oh, it gets hard with all the guns that I shoot to remember everything about it. I do know that um, I did enjoy shooting it. It was accurate. Um, I, it was, by the time I finished shooting it, my arm was sore because it does have a bit of a recoil and cocking efforts like 40-something pounds or something like that, so... Yeah, it was it was a bit tough for me, but I mean, there's I'm a girl and I'm kind of small. I don't have the leverage with my short arms, so it's probably tougher for me than it would be for most. But as far as accuracy and yeah, it just is a great gun. And it's a real springer. It's a it's an honest to goodness springer. Now, if I don't know if you remember, you did two videos with that gun. One was the um, the the review itself, and then you did the tune in the tube. Remember? Yep. Yep. I was, I forgot what the tuner tube was called. I was going to call it the gooey stuff, but the yeah, gooey, it. it is, it is gooey stuff. You nailed it. Um, so yeah, the tuner tube was a, was a cool, uh, cool product. I've talked about it before and I could go into that again, but it's a cool product that I, I developed, uh, and then pyramid air bought it out, uh, and they sell it under the tune of the tube on their website, but it's a great way to get, you know, if you have a traditional springer to, to make it shoot nicer and better and smoother and, it's not doesn't shoot harder. It actually takes some velocity off, but it certainly makes it more stable. It's a really nice, a really nice thing to to make that spring gun shoot better. Um, we shot the well. I shot the the twenty five cal uh, Magnum GR here at uh, one of the videos we did for Airgun Expo, and I need to get that out again because that is a really good, uh, really good. Now here now every every week, um, this is my doctor's office calling me to tell me. I have a <laughs> have blood work due on Friday. So we're going to just hang up on them because uh, now they'll text me. Um, I, don't, it's, I don't know why 635 on a Tuesday is just the, is when they think it's the right time to call. So I'll it's see if I can. It's still early get... there, Rick. It's still early. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we've already got a bunch of people up here and we got a bunch of people chatting. Um, really quickly before we get too far ahead of ourselves, though, I'm going to drop in the contest link. Now, um, a couple things on the contest. We're going to get to these some of these questions in the comments. Maybe, Angie, you can kind of go through while I'm, yeah, you know, flat my tater trap here. So things we, we need to address. 
Um, quick, quick thing on the contest. Um, the contest is, is the, the sign up page is going to be on gateway to airguns.com slash contest. And that's always where the contest page is going to be. And we'll post winners on another page. So as we have people that win the contest and we get their information, we'll create a running tally so you guys can see who won and know a little bit more about them if they're willing to share it. Um, the contest is open to everyone. It's not just for the GTA. Uh, we had uh, back in our contest we did last year, we had a few people that were actually kind of got a little upset that it wasn't just a GTA contest. When I, I as, as owner of the GTA, I kind of said, well, you know, there are air gunners outside the GTA. We'd like them to become part of the GTA. So maybe we can encourage some, some, uh, some folks joining uh, because they get to know us through the contest, which was my hope uh, is why I'm, you know, one of the reasons that we're doing this, we get some really cool uh, sponsorships and people send us some really cool stuff. And if we can share it with you guys, then, Hey, that's even better. Right. So, um, part of some of the rules, you know, are really straightforward. You can actually, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can read them here on the page. They're in the contest document. Once it goes live contest is going to run from December 1st to December 31st. We'll pick a winner after that. And then we'll see when we'll probably have our next giveaway in February. And then we'll skip March and have the next one. You guys get it until we can get on a, on a schedule where I've got like one already ready to go. So when one ends, we have another one goes live immediately that's what I want to do. It's going to just take a little time to get that set up. But you guys can read the terms. Um, there's going to be multiple ways to enter. And you can uh, you can just visit GTA. It gives you an entry. You can just visit. Gamma will give you an entry. You can watch the videos Angie did um, on the on this gun. That will give, give you some entries, some entry points. Um, if you are willing to, and we're going to get to this. It's a mixed mixed bag here. Um, but if you want to join, like, or not join, if you want to like Gambo's Facebook page, great. If you want to like GTA's Facebook page, great. Um, all of those are going to be ways that you can enter. And we also have uh, where you can uh, join our newsletter. You can also enter that way. So there'll be multiple ways to enter. Um, your, your information stays with the GTA. We don't, we don't, we don't give that out. Uh, and if you visit somebody's page, it's not like you're filling out a, a, an arduous form just to go visit the page. It's literally... You just visit their page. Um, they're calling me again. You visit you visit their page, and uh, and you get you get credit for the entry. So it should be pretty straightforward. If you guys have questions, you can reach out. But that's going to go live on the first. So we'll be doing more marketing and more uh, promotion to make sure everybody knows about it. But I wanted to kind of give everybody. The heads up that we did we did get the contest up and going it will be running the month of december and we have a pretty cool giveaway it's going to be that gamo gr22 um magnum uh springer it comes with the, with the gamo scope some pellets the buddy sling um angie's done the video work on it so you guys can kind of see what you're getting and it should be a lot of fun we hope you guys will um will enter uh what did you what did you see there in the chat angie well a whole lot of encouraging comments and the sound is good and then there is Greg Wilson wants to know a recommendation on a good scope under 250 for bench rest origin 22 caliber. Okay. Um, I'm going to probably look towards Hawk, but 250 is going to be on the lower end of the scale. Um, I recently did an article for Ergon Depot on scopes under for $250 and less. So budget scopes. Um, I guess, let me, let me say this. I, I guess my question is, how far are you shooting? Um, if you are, if you're shooting to 50 yards, then there's a lot of good options. If you're shooting to 100 yards, then it starts narrowing your options because you're going to need better glass to be able to zoom all the way in and, and see clearly at 100 yards. So, you know, hit us back in the chat there. Let us know how far you're shooting. So that's going to that's gonna be a help. Um, but I think 250, you're probably going to be looking at probably some UTG stuff. Um, and we can even take a, take a ride over to Ergon Depot and see what they got. Um, quickly, let me just say this. You can also reach out to our show sponsor, which is Ergon Pro Shop. Uh, we want to say hi to the guys over there at ergonproshop.com. They have a whole, they have a whole bunch of optics. I think they're probably going to be a little bit on the higher end, a little bit over the 250 mark. Um, but they can definitely source something for you and get you set up too. So definitely check those guys out at ergonproshop.com. 
and they have a great form where you can fill it out and they'll reach out to you and you know get you the information you need you need um any other questions here yeah there's just a lovely comment from g-man sorry about the jts aracuda suggestion last week (laughs) (laughs) i was just going to totally pretend it never happened (laughs) (laughs) it's playing guys it's just fun (laughs) Yeah, there's so many different guns that goes through my hands. It's hard to remember all the details about them, but yep. yeah. Yep, yep. Thanks, yep. G-Man. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so. Um, okay, so West Hunter Optics Backroads Air Gunning as puts that in, the, in there, and I, know, I remember Travis was really hot on, on the West Hunter, and I actually reached out to them. I bought some of their products. Um, the the one scope I got, I got like a short compact scope. That's more like a one to six, um, maybe a, a quick target acquisition AR scope or shotgun scope or something. And that's okay. I also got like a full size four to 16, one of those. Um, yeah, to me, it, it the first one I got didn't work. And then it took me forever to get it replaced. I mean, probably four months to get it replaced. And um, I, I haven't liked it. It feels to me, excuse me, it feels very, very cheap to me. Um, the glass seems fine. I haven't really put it through its paces um, because by the time I finally got one that was functional, um, the window of me, frankly, giving a crap has had passed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, <laughs> that sounds really bad, doesn't it? But I mean, it's just it's just what happened. So I'm willing to go. It's sitting on my bench. It's actually I have a uh, another company that sent me a like a slide on night vision optic so that you can it it gives you uh, a digital representation of looking through your scope. Right. So it's day night. It's like an ATN module you can put on any scope. That's cool. Okay. It is kind of cool, um, but much like the, uh, much like the, um, what's that stupid camera? What's that camera that you got that doesn't work? <laughs> the, the 3D night vision? No, 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 no. It's the one you slide on your scope. It's the little. Oh, Tacticam? Uh, tac, thank you. Um, it's like, it's sort of like the Tacticam. If, if, if there's, with the Tacticam, there's no adjustments left, right, up, or down. It just slides on and it's there. So if your if your tube and your scope isn't like centered in the in the in the tube, if your sight tube isn't centered in the body tube, then and it's off left, right, up or down, there's no way to adjust your eye relief to get the full picture. So if you zoom out or you zoom in, you're all cropped and weird and it or you zoom out, you're all cropped and weird, and you don't get the full sight picture. It's not like you're looking through it normally. Um and so I, I quit using the, the um, Tacticam because I, I, unless I had adjustable mounts where I could center the scope and sight the scope with the mounts, um, then maybe just do a couple clicks to get dialed in. That would work great with the Tacticam. But I don't have, and I'm not going to use 160 or $200 mounts so that I can use a $400 camera. I, <clears throat> it just, I, it, I've reached the threshold of, again, sort of don't give a crap. Uh, anymore when I can throw an ATN on it and there you go, I'm done. <laughs> so, yeah. but that little slide on thing has the same sort of issue. If you're, if you are having to adjust way, le- way up, down, way left, right, it, it doesn't, you don't get the right picture. It's a little better because it actually has some adjustability. Um, but it, <clears throat> hold on. <coughs> they need to have a better mounting system. One thing Tacticam has going for it is they have the ability to mount it to just about any sized um, eye thingy. Yeah. They, they have, have all the these, different shim kind of things in there. Yeah, yeah, they have the different shims. The other company has like a couple different shims and then they send you a roll of electrical tape. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's fantastic. So, you know, was, I need a little more. So you put an electrical tape on it and you sort of wedge it on there. And you, yeah. So it's, um, maybe it was an early model. <laughs> I, I told him if it's not patented, you really need to do what Tacticam did because boy, it makes, it will make using your product a whole lot easier. The other side of it, 
Um, the reason I liked it with the West Hunter, at least in theory, I haven't really used it yet, is that it fit perfectly on the West Hunter. I mean, it like was made for it. Um, but like with, say, um, any of these other things you're adding to a scope, now you got to shove the scope way far forward. So when you take it off, you can't use your scope. That's what I'm wondering with a Tacticam. Maybe it's compatible to certain scopes and it works perfectly with certain scopes, but who I knows found what those it. are. None, yeah. none of the ones I have. I've gotten it to work somewhat, but the, the key is if, if I could get some adjustable mounts and sight my scope with the mounts, adjust with the mounts and lock those down, then mm -hmm. the Tacticam would work beautiful. Center my optic, you know, do the up, down, left, right, centered, and then sight it with the scope mounts. And then just do fine, do like a couple, two or three clicks with the other, be fine. But yeah, I've, I've tried many times with the Tacticam and I'm willing to give it another shot. I really do. I mean, I spent all this money on all of this stuff trying to get footage through a scope. I don't know how much, I mean, what have you gone through, Angie, trying to get reliable, easy, easy, because we're always in a hurry, right? It's not like we have yeah. a week to figure it out. Reliable, easy, consistent accurate, clear footage through your scope? Oh, way too much. Yeah. <laughs> way too much. It's, I mean, the Tacticam's good for me if I'm at like 25 yards, but go back any further, you have to zoom in. It's, it's horrible. And yeah. it's really a waste of time because time, by the time you figure out your footage sucks, you've already done the testing. So you've got to start back over and yeah, no, the give a crap window has gone over here too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Okay, G-Man, One Leaf is the company I'm talking about. They do have a new model that is a scope and the adapter all in one. I actually, they reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to try this? I said, yeah, I would, because the other one didn't work so good. So please send me that one. And I just haven't received it yet, but that was months ago. So maybe they just got lost in the translation. But um, but yeah, that the... Uh, um, but One Leaf is the company that sent me the little slide-on module. It must have just been an early one. So it looks like there's a bunch of other things that are uh, people are talking about that might be worth taking a look at. I just I, I've I've been through the ringer. I remember the very first one I bought was one I bought from B and H Photo, and it was it weighs like 16 pounds. I'm exaggerating. It doesn't weigh 16 pounds, but it, it's it's like a big prism that mounts a GoPro backwards and it looks down and like this through your scope. Um, it was $1,200 for that. They were saying it's going to work. It's full bulletproof. You put it on, you push the button. Perfect. Every time. No, no, not at all. And you look at, you look at your phone and say, Oh, that looks pretty good. And then you remember, remember the, um, phone scope. Where it yep. would look good on your phone and then you dump the footage and it would be like all out of focus and weird. And so that's yeah. sort of what happened. That's sort of what happened with this other monstrosity. I have it somewhere in a box. And I really like ATN. I, I mean, me too. If they did, I wish, and, and Steve, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hammer him. If they did like a straight 10X optical zoom 10X version that would just give me that, that would be freaking awesome because... That would give me the, the like the target accuracy at 50 yards that I'm looking for. Because mm -hmm. um, now if you zoom in, it gets pixelated and you lose, you know, the bullseye you're shooting for is like this, where your crosshair just obscures the bullseye. And if you're shooting hunting, it's great. But if yeah. you are, if you're trying to precision shoot and get that on foot on film, it, it's not as good as an optic. It's just not as good as a straight optic. Right. right. But anyway. If they did like a, a 10 power or a 20 power fixed, that was just, uh, that 20 power would be a little much, but the straight 10 power optical would be sweet. I'd love it. With a high res screen, be awesome. So it looks like these, some folks are talking about some really great deals. It looks like, um, uh, let's see, Crazy Casting got a, a 25 cal Woodstock Air Venturi for 380. That's a good deal. Nice. That's a good deal. Um, let's see, let's see what else we got going on here tonight. We have a question from okay. Kenneth Smith. Does anybody know if anybody does homemade target builds? Target, like, uh, structural targets, like you're shooting into targets. 
I'm not sure. Okay. Well, maybe he can respond on that. It looks like we got another question. Looking for a budget PCP under $500 for small game hunting. Any recommendations? Angie, what do you think? Under 500 bucks. First of all, question, Kenneth, are we talking all in under 500? That scope, optic, way to fill it. I mean, gun, optic, scope, optic, the same thing. Gun, optic, way to fill it. Uh, what are we talking? Where, where's your budget top out and what's included in your budget? So, Very but, good questions, Rick. Yeah, because if it's just under 500 bucks, boy, do you have some options. Man, mm -hmm. you have... Do you have anything now? Do you have a? Uh, are you gonna hand, are you gonna go PCP with a hand pump? How far are you shooting? Your small game you're hunting. What what's the biggest game you're shooting? These are all questions I would want to know before starting advising somebody. I would say twenty five cal would be an easy sweet spot. The twenty five cal origin would be stinking hard to beat. Um, at least mine yep. was Angie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like the twenty two better in the origin, but yeah. um and the twenty five yeah. in the Avenger. Yeah, twenty five in the Avenger. Yes, it's harder to fill at three hundred bar if you have to hand pump. Yep. But yeah, so. yes, it depends on your filling options. <clears throat> hey Timmy, yes, we can see your comments. <clears throat> We're trying to um keep up with everything because we had a bunch of them coming through today. Um Origin, Avenger, Gauntlet, but I think Benjamin's uh, answering Kenneth's question. I think all of those are great choices. It's hard to go wrong. These days, man, there's so many great options on, in that price point. And I would also include uh, JTS in there. I would include DAR in there um, as options. All of those are good. All of them under $500 bucks um, will definitely, definitely do very well. If you want to go, like, if you want to go super affordable and not leave anything on the table... Um, heck, the Beeman Underlever for two hundred and twenty bucks or whatever it costs. That's a nice gun, you know. Twenty-two cal Beeman Underlever. Yeah, you know you're weren't under. We, that. Weren't we hitting the um, quadrant target at was it fifty yards or? We were. We, we pushed it out far. to a hundred. I mean, we were hitting. We were hitting the four inch square at a hundred. But I mean, at, at, at up close, it's a one inch. One inch at fifty. Yeah. Yeah. For two hundred and a little over two hundred bucks. Come on. And it's I mean, a bullpup, run yeah. around the woods and shoot stuff. And it's got a great cocking system. It's done like you were, well, I've already seen your video. They haven't seen it yet. But if you guys are fixing to get ready, you guys can get ready to see Angie's uh, upcoming video on the crawl. This is part of our grip review program for GTA. And I, I she was, the cocking handle's way back here. So it's your typical, they took a, rifle and shoved it in a bullpup stock and didn't do anything about the cocking lever so it's way back here at your ear yeah. and it makes it difficult well the beam and under lever it's right right here on your offhand so it's literally a little under under lever cocking system pcp it's really slick it's yeah. really slick we ought to give one of those away i've got one sitting on the wall i've got i think i've got to like, me i need you one you don't need one you need I one? need one. I need one. Well, if you go to Shot Show and you swing by the ranch, I'll throw one in your truck. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, <I> like that. <laughs> I'm being very selfish. You guys don't get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> what else um, we got, Rick? Let's see. Uh, Dave's got a good question. Dave Farrow's asking this question. Now, Dave and I met earlier this year, I think, and Dave's bought a couple guns off of me. He's I forgot what state he's in. <clears throat> um, oh, look, at G-Man's already cheated. He's watched your video on Vimeo already. By the way, guys, if you want to get a head start and see stuff ahead of the schedule, you can go to my Airgun Web uh, Vimeo channel, and you guys get to see all the stuff before it goes live on YouTube. <laughs> Check that out. G-Man. Good job, G-Man. G-Man's on it, man. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. give you guys a quick link, just so you guys know. So, all right, I'm going to get back to Dave's question here in a minute, but let me let me take a little... Let me take a trip down the rabbit trail here. Just a second, Dave. All right. Um, <clears throat> okay. So we're going to go to Vimeo.com. But y'all don't leave this show to go watch that. Watch that after this one. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> all right. So first of all, this is really cool. Um, for everyone that, that doesn't know what Vimeo is, Vimeo is a business class. Pay, we pay for, I pay for the service. It's expensive. I pay about a thousand bucks a year um, for Vimeo. It's not inexpensive. It gives me a lot of features, um, some that completely, totally, epically failed um, for the expo, but we're, we're sorting that out. 
but nonetheless, it um, it gives me the ability to host content um, without the threat of it like violating community guidelines and getting my stuff trashed. Um, and from our video, our Vimeo links, um, our videos are like the last month we've had, I think as least as many videos viewed off of our Vimeo content as we do off of YouTube. We got 283,000 views for last month on Vimeo, which is not insignificant. But if you go to vimeo.com slash Aaron Webb, um, you actually get our channel page, just like we have on YouTube. We have a channel page here. We have a channel page over at Rumble. Now, Rumble goes live after it goes live on YouTube, so no advanced uh, uh, um, cheating and getting to see it ahead of time there. But you can see the stuff here. Um, yeah, so it's kind of cool. You get, uh, but when it goes like live as a premiere, when you have to wait for it on YouTube, if you guys want to catch it ahead of time and watch it, you can come watch it over here on, on Vimeo. But we have Angie's stuff there, my stuff there is my, our main repository for all of our content. And as you see, we have over 1,200 videos. So if you want to binge watch some Airgun stuff, you can be there. there. You could be there a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's a that's a really cool thing. And that kind of leads me to the question. Dave, I haven't forgot your question yet. Just hang hang tight. Um, I want to go over really quickly to Airgun Army. I don't know if you guys even know what Airgun Army is. Um, Airgun Army is a website I started back when I, I, Travis and I had started talking about me working with GTA, just like I hadn't really done anything yet. And there's still all of the mess going on with Facebook and YouTube. And it just, frankly, you know, I had, I had, I had reached the, the, the point of, man, we got to do something. We got to do something different. And I know the GTA existed. I find the GTA, even though I'm the owner and we are working to create a, a better, more streamlined, more modern, easier to use, et cetera, et cetera, system for the GTA and the folks that use it. That's not going to happen overnight with over 2 million posts and 30 plus thousand members. And that's not a flip the switch and it's done kind of a deal. Right. Um, so, and I hadn't really gotten invested in the business yet. So I started this Ergon Army. I'd used this software before. It's essentially a private, um, I don't know, it's your own private social media. It's run off a system called Mighty Networks. Um, I have the paid version, which allows me to have my own URL and it's, I have additional features. We can do live stuff. You can, we can do a lot of things here. I just haven't fully leveraged it um, basically it's due to time, but I think that we're at the place we need, we need to do something that is, um, socially, um, useful for us as air gunners that's outside the mainstream social media. Um, Angie, you just got to notice today that one of your posts, who knows when, how, or why was, uh, you know, you violated community guidelines to linking to something that wasn't you know, legitimate, whatever that was. I mean, I probably linked to Facebook. <laughs> yeah, we thought it's uh, an, in, an inordinate amount of ads that are irrelevant. I'm thinking, what, she linked to Facebook? Or, um, anyway, uh, <laughs> did you hear Megan's joke? I think we said this over, um, <laughs> we said this one day, one day at, um, at Expo. Megan happens to be my sister in law, and um, you know Megan well. She said, you know, what happens if you, if you, if Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter join together, you get you twit you face. <laughs> <laughs> and if you knew Megan, you'd know that she calls people twit. Uh, that's like her thing. Sometimes it's out of annoyance. Sometimes it's a sign of a term of endearment. You just you not don't quite always know which one it is, but yeah, it's, it, twit is a is a common phrase from Megan. Anyway, that nobody knows what that's all about, but you and I get a chuckle out of that. Um, anyway, I, you know, if you guys take a look at arrogantarmy.com, let me know what you think. And one of the questions I just posted up here, which was a topic of what do we do? Um, what do we do and where do we go uh, after leaving mainstream social media? Because I've mentioned this the last few weeks. 
people have been asking about, well, why don't you go to Rumble? Why don't you do this? And I have. I've, I've got it on Rumble. And I don't know how many how many subscribers now. Let's see. All right. We are, we're at 32. It's better than nothing, right? Um, yeah. But, but it, in order for something like Rumble to be relevant uh, from a business perspective, we need... 32,000 or 50,000 or a, a lot more. Um, my YouTube channel is about to crest 90,000, which is awesome. It's taken a long time to do it. Um, I didn't have like the go viral stuff like Ted and the other guys that did. That's, I don't, I don't produce that kind of content. I'm a, a boring numbers on paper kind of guy. And when you need that review, then I'm the guy you go to. Uh, when you want to see somebody blowing the head off a pigeon, well, go watch Ted's channel because that's that's his bag. Uh, it's not my bag. <laughs> it's not my thing. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> uh, in order for these other avenues to be relevant, just need a lot more usage. And when Angie, I don't know, I mean, my sister got flagged, <clears throat> excuse me, for posting something some two years ago on my channel. And it's absolute nonsense and rubbish. You have no recourse We've talked about this. This is old. This is old news. Um, but in order for us to make the most of the other options, people actually have to use it. I mean, yeah, which is creating new habits. In it that. Is, yeah, it's that. So I'm glad G-Man using Vimeo. Awesome. Thank you for going and watching it on Vimeo. You guys are all welcome to do it. We don't charge for that. It's not like we have, you know, a. Uh, uh, whatever the website is where you got to go pay to see content. I mean, no, we, we, we get paid to make content. We don't need you to pay us to do it. Um, we have, we get paid to do it. And so we're pleased to do it and we want to make it available for you guys to go watch it without having to jump through a bunch of hoops. So please enjoy it, have fun with it and go check out these other services, whether it's rumble, whether it's air gun, air gun army or gateway to air guns. I mean, goodness, um, it, it is, it looks old and I know it looks old and I've, I've got to, uh, I've got to get with my developer even this week. We're going to start redoing how this site works and functions to make it work better for everyone um, and make it easier to find stuff. It's hard to find things when there's 2 million posts. It's hard. Yeah. It makes yeah. it tough. Overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's really, but when most people say is it's, it's overwhelming and we want to make it um, much, far more manageable, but it's going to take time for that to happen. So in the meantime, guys, you know, send us, you know, send me suggestions and let me know what you think. And now we can get to Dave's question because he's like, come on, Rick, let, uh, let's, uh, let's get back to my question already. So Dave's question was, what have people, a uh, G-Man's asking me real quick, would Rumble work as a replacement to Vimeo at less cost? Um, I don't know. I don't know that they have the same infrastructure, frankly, but it's worth looking at. It's worth looking at. Um, okay, um, so Dave was asking, what have people shot most this year? And I think that's a good question. Angie, of all the air guns you've shot this year, uh, and you guys answer in the chat too. Um, mm. Angie, what gun have you shot most? I know which I've shot most. It's going to be, probably won't be surprising to most to the people that know, watch my stuff. I don't know. The one that comes to mind is the hammer. Um, you have, I shot, have shot the, hammer, shot a the lot. hammer a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably it's, true for you. Yeah, that was an awesome. It is an awesome gun. Yep, okay. I'm itching to get back in the stand. It's been a little while. Yep. Okay. Uh, what for about me, you? It's probably been the Benjamin Gunner. I've shot the Gunner a lot. I mean, if you went and looked at my videos this year for Pyramid Air, I've got probably five or six gunner videos, which is surprising. I wouldn't have thought that, but I really like that gun. I don't know why. So it wasn't it just, upon request. It was just videos that you wanted to do because yeah. you enjoyed it that much. Yeah. No, in fact, what's really cool about what's going on with me in Pyramid Air right now, which is pretty slick. I mean, for there was a period of time where I, 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 I got issued product and that's what I reviewed. <laughs> Um, and you'll see, you'll see a trend in my videos where I was doing, yeah, you, I think you can tell the videos that I did because I was enthusiastic about it and videos that I was doing because it was a job. 
um, the videos I was doing yeah. because it was a job. They had, we want you to do this video. We want you to have it done. We want you to wrap it up seven to 10 minutes. If it goes longer than that, it's too long, et cetera, et cetera. And so I would get all the data in there. I would be factual and so forth. But, you know, when I'm just getting issued a job, it's different than when I get to browse their website and go, I want that. I want that. I want that, you know, and then I make arrangements that that's what I'm going to review, which is what I've been able to do this last about year and a half or so, which is awesome. Um, so when I am able to get my hands on something that really, I don't know, I connect with it and then I'm able to use it, use it, use it. And they're fine with that. That's awesome. Um, so they've given me, they've given me sort of going back to the way it was back in the beginning, just giving me say, just find, is there something on the site you want? If we've got it in stock and it makes sense, we'll, we'll just send it to you and knock yourself out. So yeah, that's, that's a great relationship. Let me tell you. But the gunner was I've a big part of my shooting, yeah. I've requested the build your own Avenger. You can make it all pretty and stuff. I, I That's was, what I've requested. And, I was yeah. told to go build one, and I, I haven't done it yet, so I need to go do it. I started. I couldn't save it. Supposedly, there was some disconnect between my account and something else, and I couldn't save it. But anyway. Oh, well, you need to go do that. It's a lot of fun. I, I do. did it today. I do. You guys are talking about AEA guns. Um, I've got an AEA something rather i got it from brian uh, hi brian i haven't talked to you in a while hope you're doing all right man he's been fighting fires for like crazy and rebuilding infrastructure and stuff over in new mexico so i hope he's doing all right um but we traded i have his 22 here um and we when we did might have been ergon week first this first of this year one of the most accurate guns i shot at 50 yards it was impressive i didn't know i was supposed to take it to much higher pressure so i, I haven't really gotten back to it yet but i will at some point um, it's a small bore, but he, he's just shot slugs out of it. So he was pushing, I want to say 80 some odd foot pounds on a 22 with it. So it's pretty crazy. That's, that's hammering. Yeah. So, yeah. Did you Let's answer, see. um, Kenneth Smith's questions? Um, cause he did get back to you about, okay. He did. What did he say? He said, I don't have any, oh, he's just looking for the gun. And he said, I don't have any PCP right now looking for 22 cal or 25. Biggest hunt is turkey looking for just okay. the rifle. No, no accessories. Okay. ATM been using 22 rimfire for turkey. Okay. Um, well, gosh, if, if, if he's going to go, don't have any PCP right now. So is he going to go, if he's going to like a Springer, like a 25 cal Springer, um, I really, the best option is probably going to be a, like a Hatsan, maybe like a Hatsan 135, um, would be really good. I mean, if they're built like they were when I was shooting them, that would be a great gun. If he's going to go PCP and he's not going to shoot a lot, in other words, he's not going to bench rest a hundred rounds, right? I'd look at mm -hmm. the Aspen. The Aspen's awesome. Yeah. Self-contained. It's 300 bucks. It's self-contained. It shoots easily one inch at 50 like all day it's got low oh, yeah. and high power low power has more energy than the most powerful brake barrel okay so <clears throat> so low power 25 will outshoot well maybe there's one or two that's more powerful but it's it's enough power on low power to do anything you want to do inside 25 30 yards and if you want to reach 7500 yards with accuracy to run on high power but you can pump it yourself it's got an integrated hand pump keep it lubricated with silicone and yeah, if you're shooting for hunting and you're not shooting a hundred rounds bench rest there every, every weekend or something, the gun will work really, really well. Then you can get a hand pump or some other thing so that you can fill it with another source and just keep it topped off with the integrated hand pump. Um, but that 25 really underrated air gun. It has had problems. I think it's basically because people have overworked with a pump and maybe didn't keep it lubricated properly or pumped it too quickly or et cetera, et cetera. It wears out. So, you know, if you're going to just hunt with it, you shoot a mag or two to get sighted in and then go hunting. That would be my choice. And that would be sweet. Easy, easy, easy. So hope that's helpful. It doesn't have open sight. So you have to put an optic on it, but that, that's what I would go with. I got to get mine out. I, I've got one. And I forget to pull it out because it's it's such a fun gun to shoot. So um, Benjamin Spencer says he's starting marksman division at extreme field target at 
PRJC, big knockdown targets out to 100 yards, pellet slugs, and 22 subsonic rimfire. Check out posts on AGN under FT Forum. Cool. Then he says he wishes Rick and Angie would come out and shoot with him. Well, you know, you never know. We can do something. It might be fun. I love, I, I, I always thought it would be really cool. I talked about this years and years and years and years ago, back when I was doing Ergon Web TV with Cecil and everybody else. It would be really nice to have a, a big bore field target kind of deal with like big knockdown targets. We actually built a couple of prototypes back in the day, but um, yeah, it was just, it was it was outside of my ability to bring to reality, but somebody like you know uh, some pe somebody with more money and more time could certainly do something like that. Be really cool. It sounds like they're doing it, so that's kind of neat. So, so crazy see. casting asking how many shots you get from the beam and under lever at what power, Rick. Um, I don't remember. I was looking on my phone a little while ago to see if I had it in my. Um, app, but I, I can't find it. You'd have to go back and look at the video. Yeah, we've done videos on it. So, I mean, it's a 30 foot pound 22 ish, I would say plus or minus five. I'm just going from memory. Um, and you're looking at at least three mags. So 30 shots. It's going to have a shot curve because it's not regulated. But if you're shooting at 50 yards, you're going to get three solid mags out of it. You probably can get five mags total, but you're going to have one that's going to be too too low on, on either side of that curve um, as it goes, like, finds optimal and then drops at the end. Um, but it's only 3,000 PSI. It's got a relatively small air cylinder, so it doesn't take a lot to hand pump it if you want to start inexpensive and do that. It's just a really fun gun. It's surprisingly... It, it, it was shocking. when The last year... Aragon Expo 2022, 23, 21, 21, 21, 21. Thank you. 21. It was the, like the air gun that shocked us all. I mean, I think everybody was surprised at how well it did. Sort of like this year was the Notos was like the, yep. the gun. It was an affordable gun that was like, wow, how are they doing this? <laughs> this is impressive. Yeah. Regulated. Yeah. yeah yep. That was nice. So, so let's see. Yeah. Um, Benjamin's saying we can do, we can go to a, a dairy and shoot some pest birds. I would love that. I'd take my day state for that. Take my red wolf. Oh, and, cheater. Cheater. It's not cheating. <laughs> How is that cheating? I don't know. That, you, that gun shoots itself. You don't even it have does. to get behind it. <laughs> hey, I'll let you borrow the, you can, well, that would be too much power, I think. No, you can dial it back. I have the FX, the, um, that FX Dreamline Dream Tack, which is pretty sweet. Anyway, okay, not, deal. Yeah, deal. <laughs> to borrow. <laughs> to borrow. I, stick, heard, stick I heard you. There's, so, there's no yeah. time frame there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Benjamin, reach out via email, bro. And let me find out where you are. And you know, maybe there's something we can do. One of the things I'm hoping to do next year, and we're working towards this. I mean, the GTA is is a big project. Um, our goal, I mean, Angie, as you guys know, have has been putting a lot of energy uh, into the grip review program. It's something that we are um, really seeking to foster more involvement in, and be able to self fund our own videos and our own projects, where we are able to maybe do a little traveling and we can meet up and do a shoot. We've got a we're going on a hunt this week or this month. Well, not this month, because that would be tomorrow. Um, December, we're going uh, with Gamo to do some iguana hunting. Now, Angie will be hunting, and I will be filming. So I will not be pulling the trigger so much. But um, this is still going to be fun. I enjoy it. So we're going to yeah, be doing that I'm with Gamo. Uh, yeah, we're going to be shooting the arrows, the Gamo arrow, which I that's a redonkulously nice, accurate gun. Actually, that with open sights on iguanas is going to be pretty legit. Shooting the red fires, it's lights. We lights out all day, all day. Now you went last year, right? You went last year with Gamma. I did. I did. Mm -hmm. So you've done this before. Yeah. So you can teach me where I'm supposed to shoot them and all that kind of stuff. Right. I've been right. practicing. <clears throat> all you gotta do I've is shoot right, right, right here. They got that little flat sort of spot on their ear, which is their ear, I guess, or whatever it is. 
you're gonna you're gonna pop them like, right under that. And you gotta headshot them. If you body shot them, they won't drop. You gotta headshot them. Um, well, you know, chicken food is getting really expensive. So I've been practicing with the lizards around here. Chickens love to eat the lizards. So yeah. I've been That's going a around little, little tiny target in your place. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. bring any iguanas home and let them loose in Cottageville. That'd be stinky. Oh, yeah, that'd be terrible. Yeah. Um, let's see. We have any other questions here? Gosh, we have. Oh my. G Man asked about the Bara Eleven Hundred Z and what I think about it as a budget option for Kenneth. Um. I've only experienced shooting the, the 177, and I think it's a great gun. I think I would like the 22 more, um, just because I don't know. I'm not a 177 kind of person, but yeah, I think it's a great platform. And like we said, I think last week the Veil camo makes it even more accurate. So make sure you get it in the Veil camo if you get it. Yeah, the one the the 22 will shoot half inch at 50. I mean, not every group, but it's capable of half inch at 50. <clears throat> so it's, heck, heck yeah. It's not regulated, so you got to know your shot curve. You get two, three. What pellets did you? What pellets did you find that it liked? Do I was probably shooting, eight, probably shooting eighteen one threes. Okay, all right. Yeah, the one seven seven is a little pellet picky, but um, I mean, I didn't test every pellet. But the ones that I tested, it was a little pellet picky. So I'm curious to find out if the twenty two is the same. Yeah, well, it looks like Benjamin's in Mesa, Mesa, Arizona. Which is ah. not that far from here. I've got to go. In fact, I'm planning yep. a trip. I'm planning a trip to go out and see my mom in Lake Havasu. So maybe we'll have to swing by and see a Benjamin. Well, it'll just be me. <laughs> Hi, Angie. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can stop by on your way back from Shot Show. Yeah. Yeah. It's only maybe four hours from Vegas, probably three, four hours from Vegas. So yeah. Let's see. I think we should plan an across the country trip, Rick. I would you love to I. do that. Yeah, I would love to do that. I would love to. There's a bunch of folks we can see. Um, Al, we can go see Al. Uh, we can go up mm -hmm. to New England Air Guns. We can cut over to Pyramid Air, see those guys. We could swing over to um, Airgun Pro Shop, new owners of Airgun Pro Shop, check out what they got going on. We can go to Utah Air Guns. We, I would be really cool. That would be awesome. I would love to do that for sure. So we yeah, just got to come up, come up with a budget and, and, and about four weeks of travel, travel time. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> well, maybe eight weeks. We'll go to Umarex and Zissico and, and go see everybody. Yeah. Gamo and Barra and gosh, there's, there's a lot. We can go to Bentonville and get about 50% of the uh, air gun community. It was right there in Bentonville, Arkansas or thereabouts. So, so anyway, guess what, Rick? What's that? Guess what? You pronounced it perfectly. Bara? Yes. I did. Good job. I did. I'm about 50 50 at this point. I'm getting better. So <laughs> I very seldom do I say Bara anymore. It's, it's Bara. I'm getting there. Good getting job. There. Good job. Creating um, new habits every day. Yes. We've got Buckrail up here. How you doing, buddy? I'm glad to see you up here. Um, cool. Buckrail is a new, new sponsor with uh, GTA. And I believe, if I saw my email correctly, I'm going to have some stuff coming from him. We're going to be running through the grip program. So that's going to be kind of cool. So we'll have some of that, some really cool stuff to look at here shortly. So that's, that's pretty neat. Um, neat. Let's see. It looks like backwards air gunning was talking about the veil camo 22. So I'm guessing that's a, he, a, the 1100Z. Um, <laughs> uh, Matt's saying he'll trade you a 22 for your 177. Um, <laughs> his is pellet picky. They are pellet picky. Mm. Did you find your 177 pellet picky? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So cool. But once you find its pellet, yeah, it's a sweet gun. Yeah. And I do have a whole whack load of pellets to test with. So let's see. I have not kept up with the. Um, not kept D david did we did we answer did, did we get a good i mean we answered it but did you guys answer too i hadn't kept up with all because they're going too fast um yeah, i don't think they did i mean i need you guys to to help david out here what if, what gun if you're if you're one of us air gunners that has a whole bunch of guns and air gunning being the hobby we tend to get have more than just one um what is the gun that you've been shooting most for 
2022. I'm curious. For me, it was the Gunner. Um, I have shot the Air Arms Tactical quite a bit as well, uh, but I think I may have shot the Gunner a little bit more. Um, but just for recreational shooting, not work shooting for me, it's probably been the Gunner. I'd be curious what you guys have been shooting. Uh, Rick's got a question. The inner barrel of my Hunter Extreme 177 I've found is broken about two uh, one quarter. How do I change it out to a 21 inch fixed barrel under lever with the same power plant? Uh, Rick, I don't know because I. it sounds like you're mixing terminology and technology there. If you're talking about a Hunter Extreme would be a Gamo Hunter Extreme. It's a brake barrel you would not be able to convert that to an under lever. So if you have some more explanation, that would be great. <clears throat> Umrex. Uh, Umrex Synergis. It says Syrinx. But I think Synergis, you this. okay. Yep. Yep. That Kyle's one came out in 22 that, too, didn't it? It did. Kyle's saying the Cap Recluse. Okay. What? You haven't shot your G230? Wow. That's a crime. How long have you had it? You need to send that to Angie. If you're not going to shoot it, <laughs> she'll send it back. <laughs> that was <day. laughs> So Sparky's got the PBA Pro 20 duck and goose hunting. That's an awesome gun. You should check out the SWA. Terry makes those too. Oh, cool. Makes them for me. The PBA Pro. I remember seeing that gun first at Dave and Regina's at Hunter Supply and I was like, holy crap, this is an awesome gun. And if everything goes well, we're going to have some really cool stuff happening with the uh, with both PBA, PBBA and, and SWA shotguns. So kind of very, very cool. <clears throat> Let's see. New Mexico air gunner. Being right. that most of my shooting is urban pest removal, I use my P-Rod the most, honestly. Yeah. Great gun. Wait till, you, wait till you try the Notos. If you haven't, if you, Mexico, New Mexico air gunner, if you haven't seen the Notos, you, you're going to want to look at it. If you like the P-Rod... He's seriously looking at it. He just said that. I'm yeah. seriously looking at the Notos. <clears throat> it is awesome. It is awesome. As soon as they have one I can buy, or I can get Umarex, I can twist JB or Scott's arm to send me one. I'm going to have one of those things. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, I think it's a necessity to run it through the GRIP program. Necessity. Absolutely. Absolutely. In every caliber. Twice. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> good thinking crazy casting has been shooting the gamo 22 mach 1 in springer and every 22 in pcp yep excellent excellent kyle says i bought it his, he's talking about the, the gauntlet in 30 yep he bought it a couple months ago but just never got around to shooting it and now it's cold i understand the cold i don't like it either Ugh. and yeah. you're in minnesota yeah that's cold that's really cool. I'll shoot this it is... until it warms up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, air uh, we'll see if Haji does the work on the Notos. It's going to be probably right up Haji's alley. He tends to like working with the Umarek stuff, although he you know, does the Avenger stuff too. But I, I, I'll be curious what he what he pulls out of the hat with the uh, the Notos. Although, i got to tell you, right out of the gate, that gun's just nice. It's just nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know that there's much I'd, I'd want to do to it. I, mean, I, I remember your face when you pulled it out the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was great. I wish y'all yeah. could have seen him. <laughs> I was like, well, you're not getting this back. <laughs> and then I sent it back. Well, they play like the sad card. We only have one. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> you had one. <laughs> anyway. Nah, I'm just teasing. So, yeah. Well, so was there we, any um, was there ahead. any comments? Was there any comments on any videos that you had seen lately? Um, you know, I hadn't really looked much, Angie. Let me just take a, take a gander. I mean, um, kind of lately, they've been mostly just gen, you know gen, general questions I've been answering. Um,
Yeah, I don't. I haven't really seen a ton where it was. Um, haven't had a lot. I mean, nothing real negative and nothing like. I mean, it's just been people asking general questions. I've tried to keep up with them as best I can, um, but you know, just been normal stuff. Reality, I've been like this last week. I kind of took the week off. I know how dare I. Um, and this yeah. week, I'm kind of taking the week off. I do have a again. Meeting. <laughs> well, not fully because I'm working my tail off all behind the scenes. But um, weather's been not. I just haven't been able to shoot. You know, twenty thirty mile an hour winds and cold. So, yeah. So G Man made a suggestion on one of my videos. Okay. He asked if we would do two shot cards, one with like dome top pellets and the other one with like pointed or whatever. So I thought that was a great idea. Not on camera. That's a lot of shooting. It'll take a lot of time, but just. During my pellet testing, do two separate shot cards. I thought that was a good suggestion. I think what I'd like to do is is for like in each caliber have a standard pellet assortment. I, 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 did you ever have you ever? Well, I'd say have you ever seen this? But we know Angie doesn't watch TV or movies. But um, I know this. I, even like, have you seen Star Wars? What's that? Um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> did anybody stars ever... fight each other? <laughs> <laughs> did, did anybody ever find the video of uh, Let the Wookiee Win? Did anybody find that for you? No. Too I bad. didn't even think about it after the show, Rick. Uh, okay. <clears throat> anyway. I'll write it down. <laughs> write it down. Let the Wookiee <laughs> Win. Yes. Okay. Let the Wookiee Win. So. Okay. I got distracted with the comments. What were you talking about? Me? We were talking about something. I was about to say something, and I forgot already. Star Wars. That's the last thing I remember. Before oh, pellets. that. Pellets. Yes, thank pellets. you. I think it would be nice in every caliber. Thank you. <laughs> in every caliber that we... I, yeah, I remember now, because I went from there. I was going to talk to you about Top Gear. And they had, like, they set parameters they ran every car through to get its score. And it would be nice to have, like, five pellets... That regardless of the best or worst, all the, you always shot these five pellets all the time, just on a shot cart. And this is what you get. This is where the hobbies. This is was, this was the Crossman Premier Hollow Points. This was the you know whatever. And you have this yeah. shot card, this this shot group or shot setup of just five standard all the time pellets, and it may none of them may be the best pellet, but at least people will know. Um, your cheap, you know, Walmart pellets are going to shoot like this. Your pointed pellets are going to shoot like this, you know, um, at least have an idea. Something right. like that might be good. Yeah. You'll probably do that in 22 and 177. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don't and leave me hanging. JSB and H&N are in like the, like the, the bucket we take to the bench. <laughs> Cause usually <laughs> that's what's working. So, yeah. Anyway, I have had good results with some crosswinds too. So yeah, it depends on the tin, man. You get a good tin, you're all set. If you want to have fun, get like three tins from Walmart and get your micro micrometers out, not your micrometers, your micrometers, or your <laughs> your manometer. It's the not a manometer, it's a manometer, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> Thank you for your, making it okay. Yeah, your 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 change approved. Sue so will know what that means. Um, if you get your micrometer out and measure the head size of the pellets and just look at the variations that you get out of a tin across from Premier Hollow Points, it's uh, it can be extreme. It can be really extreme. Yeah. Okay. If I get bored, I'll do that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. If you get one, just just twenty bucks. Next time you're at Harbor Freight, around a Harbor Freight, just. Shh, Get a micrometer, you're all set. Um, how good is the Gamo Arrow compared to the Magnum and other 22 air rifles? Uh, the Arrow is is a is a unique animal. It's not built for power. So if you're buying an Arrow to for power, don't buy it. If you're buying the Arrow for an incredibly quiet backyard target gun, it's really good. And it has enough power for pests. I mean, it has 16, 17 foot pounds, so it's more than enough for rabbit and squirrel at 35 yards. Easy. 
Um, and it will shoot inch groups way better than inch at 35 yards. It starts to start getting a little crazy at 50. It doesn't do well at 50. It just doesn't have the velocity. But if you're in your backyard, you want something super quiet, good shot count, great accuracy, that arrow. But for 200 bucks, come on. Well, 220 or whatever it if is. If I remember right, it wasn't pellet picky either, was it? No, I mean, it. it I, mean, I shot uh, Hades. I shot Red Fires. I shot... Don't be just fifteen eight nines. I shot, you know. I like that. I'd love to have it one seven seven actually. I I like the twenty two, but go for it. Just from a target gun, I think it'd be just. I like shooting one seven seven for target. So. The thing that I the the one seven sevens to me is those are little teeny tiny pellets, little yeah. teeny tiny pellets. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Notos is not doesn't have a threaded uh, end. Um, and not to get into a bunch of stuff because this is not the place, nor do we have all the information, but you know, the whole market of threaded externally added on suppressors and moderators in the air gun world, that's up in the air right now, guys. So, um, I would be, I would be mindful and watchful of what's going to, you know, what may happen over the next period of time with regards to uh, externally, you know, externally attachable moderators. We just need to be mindful of that. Um, it's, it's, it's a gray area. It was a gray area. It is a gray area. And until there's a determination, it's going to continue to be a gray area. Um, and you set yourself up for issues. If somebody wants to press a point, that's, that's all I'm going to say about that. You want to be mindful. So, doesn't matter what you think or what I think or how we believe things should be. That doesn't matter. What matters is how the people that are enforcing the laws, how they see it. And uh, those are the ones you're going to have to deal with. So I just say to, uh, to all of us, we need to be diligent and careful and mindful and respectful of, of things. And, and uh, yeah, anyway, anyway, that's enough for that. <laughs> Um, I guess that's going to be about it. We're, we've we've gone over again, Angie. I didn't realize. Timmy that. has a question though. Okay, what Tim? What's Tim's question? Rick, did you get to look for and pick out my Christmas present yet? Uh, I have one in mind, but no, I haven't picked it out yet. Um, gosh, I wish you could take a trip to El Paso. It'd be much easier if we could just go through the boxes of stuff together. Um, Realistically, I'm looking at uh, being woefully behind in admin and accounting work. Um, and until I can do that and then get some videos done so we have something to edit coming into <laughs> the new year, um, I'm just flat out. I mean, it's possible I can get to it in between bad weather. I can go into the, the thing, but I, I have something in mind that I think would work really well for you. Um, so I haven't forgotten about it, just haven't done it. So, but if you get out this way or can come out this way and we have a, I mean, if you're traveling lights, you and, you know, and you want to stay the night or something, we have a guest cabin. You could stay out here and, and, you know, stay the night or whatever. So if you have that ability, then we can certainly, that would be a lot easier and would certainly motivate me to, to do it. <laughs> so anyway. G man, Rick, you have to send Timmy a gamo. <laughs> I know favorite, what Timmy thinks about that. It's his favorite favorite gun, right? We'll send him. I'll send him like a, a gamo urban or a gamo coyote or something. He'll love it. And the um, formidable one. I think he has a good mm -hmm. comment. That you might want to check out before we go. Um, Thanks for the response. I did get the Gamma Arrow with the G9 hand pump from Pyramid Air. This is my first PCP, but there's hardly any content on the Air Venturi G9 pump. Can you make a maintenance vid? Um, I have never taken a hand pump apart. Uh, I am terrified that once I get it apart, I'm going to have a pile of parts, and that's about as far as it's going to go. I think... I just I have I have very little confidence in my ability to deal with that. Um, maybe I can overcome that, and I don't have that particular pump, um, but it's possible. I mean, 
uh, I will talk to maybe Pyramid Air will send me a pump in a, in a, in a rebuild kit and show me how to do it. Um, I've never had to rebuild a pump. Of course, I've never used a pump long enough that I would need to. So there is that too. Um, so I don't know. I don't know that I'm going to be the guy for that, but maybe I can ask them if that's something they would, they would uh, send me their gear and have me do it. We'll see. I am going to be doing some uh, how to videos. I have a video going up Thursday, which is on how to adjust the trigger on your Barra 1100 Z. It'll also work on your, on any of the gauntlet guns or QBs or whatever. I know it helped Angie. Sweet. Out, didn't it? It, it helped did. Angie, helped Angie get her gun going again. Yep. Yep. So. It was um, very easy. So I think, I think how to videos will be awesome. Uh, G man sent you the Wookie link. Just so you know, um, you might okay, have to, thank you. you might have to email it or text it or whatever. I don't know if it showed up here in the chat, but, uh, that's cool. Yeah, Timmy, we'll, we'll figure something out. Um, I know you've been super patient and I know you got kind of hosed over. Um, so let's, uh, let's see what we can do. We'll, we'll sort something out. We'll get something going for you. Um, Okay, so Benjamin's sending you an email. Um, so hey, we might have we might have some road trips planned, Angie. That'd be cool. Be a lot of fun. Yeah, maybe in that road trip trip we can go by and see Timmy. Yeah, maybe we can go cool. see Tim. Be, that'd be yeah. cool. I'm gonna be Tim. Where are you located? I should know this, but. I forget. The only reason I say oh, I'm going to be I'm going to be in the Houston area for like a bit when Naomi's at Civil Air Patrol. She's going to encampment uh, for CAP. And so I'm going to nice. be in the Katy Houston area. I'm going to go see uh, Buckrail, see Terry over there. Um, and I don't know, Timmy, where are you, man? <laughs> G-Man said he'll come out as long as you're here. Um Uh, yeah, Tim, just tell me, I'm trying to remember, Tim, where you're located, man. If you're, if you're like within an hour of Houston, maybe I can come see you in January. That'd be easy. And if you don't, if you don't want to put it in the chat, you can email us and let us know where you're at. Yeah. Yeah. Send your uh, full address, your social security number, um, <laughs> <laughs> your routing number. Yeah, it's fine. I have a cousin in Africa that's got $14 million he wants to give you. Of course, I'm lying. Don't do that. Um, anyway, <laughs> so Timmy's in Michigan. Oh, I thought he was in Texas. There you go. I ain't going nope. to Michigan. No. Not right I'm now, not, anyways. Not, not intentionally. Maybe if I absolutely had to. What's wrong with Michigan, Rick? I mean, right now I understand it's cold. Cold. That's <laughs> what's wrong with Michigan. Yeah, well, it's not it's cold far. here all year round. <laughs> it's far. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Kenneth asked me, do you have any opinions on the Benjamin 392S? Before I put my foot in my mouth again, like I did in a comment, which I have yet to go fix. Let me make sure that's what I think it is. The gun I think it is. Oh, boy, do I have comments. And I talked about it in great detail last, last week. 392S. Oh, yes. Yes, I have comments. I took it out of the box. I got it for a review. And in fact, I was going to do a definitive guide for uh, Air Gun Depot on this gun. Pulled it out of the box. Tried to shoot it. It went back in the box. I haven't touched it. It was absolutely horrible. And it wasn't that it didn't shoot or didn't function. The ergonomics were so poor, I couldn't use the doggone thing. Just horrible. So, there you go. That's my that's that was my my opinion on that gun. So maybe your frame and your position would be different with it. I, I could not. I, I could not even begin to try and use it. So, all right, Tim. If you're in Michigan, that changes things. I, I, I see. Boy, if you're in Texas, we could do something. But I don't know why I thought you're in Texas. Oh well. Because you okay. think everybody's in Texas. It's a big state. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're way past time now. The fact you guys are still hanging out here is uh, kudos to you for hanging out with us. Um, 
I hope you guys have had a, a good holiday. I hope you're looking forward to some more good holiday time with family and friends. And I uh, hope you guys remember the whole point of, um, well, there's, there's something bigger than us out there. And um, we have opportunity to be part of it. Maybe if we ever sit down and have a cup of coffee, we can talk about that. Um, but in any case, I hope you guys have a great holiday. Um, and you love one another and with your families and everything. And, and, uh, yeah, I have, I have good, good wishes for everybody that way. And we've got some things going on. Angie's trying to get out the shot show. So we're going to be working on that. We got the contest going up tomorrow. We got a lot of things going on here, trying to make what we do better for you guys. So we appreciate your support, watching our videos, all that kind of cool stuff. Definitely. I've, I haven't talked about them a lot tonight and that's on me but i want to say thank you to ergon pro shop for their support and what they're doing out there um you know them uh picking up ergon pro shop the new owners buying it from me have allowed me to do uh, a lot more that there was no way i'd be able to get around to so their support of the of what we're doing on many fronts has been pivotal um and so that's just all good stuff and so i've got uh I got a lot of things to be thankful for. Um, and, and I even thankful for Angie too. I know that's crazy and all, but wow. I, mean, I know, right? <laughs> I'm thankful for you too, Rick. Oh, and all enough. of you. Are that's guys. enough. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get this wrapped up already. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're going to call it a night. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please, you know, like subscribe, all that fun stuff. Visit our other channels. If you guys can do it, and want to do it and are willing to do it and want to try using some of these other um, alternative tools, whether it's Airgun Army or GTA or Rumble or whatever, Vimeo or whatever tickles your fancy. As we branch out into these other places, it does make um, our separation from YouTube and Facebook and this other social, this mainstream social media stuff and our dependence of that, it makes the separation from that easier. Um, and I would love to see that at some point where we are not having to look over our shoulders every two seconds about, oh my gosh, I said that wrong and I'm kicked off and I'm losing all and just that's miserable. So I encourage you guys to, you know, take a look at these other things, try them out and hopefully something fits and you guys can let me know what you think might work because I'm open to learning new stuff. That's going to be it. Angie, any final thoughts? Thank you guys for watching. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Glad you're finally on with me only took forever yeah finally i know had to get internet. was it worth the wait rick i don't know maybe did you hear me? Maybe. <laughs> might be are you changing give, your mind i don't give you any too much credit um <laughs> no it's been good it's been good i appreciate you coming on and i got this cool audio gear i'm going to be able to send you headphones and all so you're going to be like like five by five once you get this you'll be all set Sweet. All right, guys, this could be it. We'll talk to you guys next week. See ya. Good night, y'all. Okay, we're done. Kind of an awkward, silent moment for the past.